Hi, my name is Lisa and this is my page, Junk to Joyful, and today I'm going to show you how to make these cute little heart lavender filled scented sachets. My template I hand drew. I like this shape of a heart. It is really customizable. Any shape size that you wish, you can even grab those wooden hearts at Dollar Tree, Walmart, and use that as your template. I drew mine on cardboard and just went ahead, cut it out, and that is my template. So my fabric I'm using is a muslin, so I made sure that I have that two layers so that I can cut one whole heart with one pass here. You could see the way I flipped the template so that I can maximize the amount of hearts that I can get out of my fabric. So again, it is two ply, so I have enough here to make two hearts, and I'm putting a straight pin through just to stabilize my fabric together so that it does not shift too much and that I can get the same size heart out with one cut. So again, I am making two here. And I did this last week for the first time on a live and I just glued it. No sewing, I used Fabri-Tac. So that is an option for you. And just run your bead of glue around the heart between the layers and that is enough to tack it all together. But today I am using my sewing machine and I'm adding a little strip of lace right across the top. So you can see I laid the lace on and putting that pin back in to keep everything in place. And I'm just trimming a little excess off here. And then I will head over to my sewing machine right next to me and my apologies, I thought my machine was in full view, but you can see here, you get the gist that I am just running a stitch all the way around, leaving about an opening of a one inch to one and a half inch section so that I can fill the hearts. And I chose to do a contrast color in my thread to have a red just because Valentine's and just to do something a little different. If you wanted it to blend in, you could obviously use a white or a cream thread and you wouldn't see it. So I'm showing you here that I left just a little opening. I've got these lavender buds that I got last summer from my local lavender farm. You can get them on Amazon and you just fill your heart to your desired amount and then run a stitch to close that little section off. And again, I drew my template for my smaller heart. Get some contrasting fabrics. Do you, do whatever you like. I like this red and cream ticking fabric. I also have it in black and white ticking and then this gingham, which I am using here on the second heart. And now I'm just gonna take that Fabri-Tac glue and just adhere and make sure it's all secured down. And then same for the other heart. Now I wanted to show you two different styles on how you can finish off the edging of your hearts. You could, of course, leave it the way it is, but I took my gator sander and I like the rough edge, the frayed look. So I'm just going around the entire uh, circumference of this heart and just fraying it and making it look worn. That is one possibility and just trimming off the excess, making sure my heart's glued down. The other is these pinking shears and it just gives it a little zigzag appearance all the way around. It also helps prevent it from fraying. So these are two options that you can do. Now embellishments, you can do whatever you want. I chose these two white hearts and I'm just taking my twine, putting a knot through it, adding a dab of glue on the back, and then just a simple bow as an embellishment for these, keeping it simple. And then same on the second heart. I really like the way these turned out. 
They are cute. They could be, you could give as gifts. They could be used as bowl fillers, even in drawers. So let me know what you think.